Oh, today is October 14th, Thursday, Friday actually. Friday, there's some kind of festival at the City Hall. They have all these lights. This is the the section where the where the bricks are. There's one light that doesn't work. There's one light that doesn't work very well. There's another light that doesn't work very well. Here's the bricks. There's no homeless people here at all. They've all been cleaned out. Here I'm going to the flagpole. Is at full mast. Um, here's the light. That looks pretty well. Here's the ADA violation. Um, that should be should be um, cement, not dirt. Here's the other ADA violation. The light here as well. Now here's what's weird. This is some kind of camera. There's something going on. Some festival. Do you know what's going on here at City Hall? Is there some kind of festival or something? There's a dance performance. Oh, there's a dance. Is, is the city putting it on? Um, it's a few things, but the city gave us the permit. Today. Oh, you got a permit from the city. Which dance troupe are you with? Uh, there's several. There's. Oh, I'm wondering where all the disabled homeless people who want to watch it are. This is uh, place is usually filled with disabled homeless people hanging around. Yeah, well they can they can watch. I know, but they got chased out by the Rangers oh, in the last three days. Okay. Not okay, I'm not I'm not saying that. okay. So here's there's a dance performance procedure. This is why they chased out the homeless people because they're having a dance performance. So this explains why they're why they chased them all out in the last three days, all for the dance performance. Now it makes sense. They chased them out to make this place presentable. Here's the plaque. Um, it says, Changing of the Guard, Ancelo Grova. Um, I can't read the rest. Something in the city of Santa Cruz. I can't see the date. It's too dark. But that's a plaque. It's some kind of sculpture. It looks really expensive. I wonder how much that costs. I'll have to make a public reference to that. These lamps, look at these lamps. Now those are solar powered lamps. See the solar powered lamp attachment? I'll have to make a public reference because of that. Those are solar powered lamps. Um, this is another solar powered lamp here. Very expensive. Here's, as I've seen before, the, the um, expensive exotic cacti in the, um, in the fountain, which actually has some water because it rained. Um, is this where the dance performance is going to be? Is it going to be, is this going to be the stage? Okay, well they have lights. Is it going to be in the city hall chamber? Oh, I thought it was going to be outside. Well, they ha all the lights are in there, so I would think it's going to be in there. Is this for the 150th anniversary? I don't know. Okay, okay, well I'm just curious. I'm an independent journalist, that's why. So I am. So there's some dance, no one seems to know where it's going to be, so I'm going to ask around. Excuse me. Do you know where the um, the dance performance is, is going to be inside the city council no, chamber? No, it's going to be... Then why are all the lights on in there, all the colored lights? Well, we can still see them. Yeah, see it through the window. I think so they're, they're lighting you through the windows, so they won't put lights up out here? They did look... Oh, these are lights? Okay, I didn't see them. So they when did they put all these up? I think today. Today? Yeah. See, what I was wondering is I'm an activist, I'm an advocate for disabled homeless people, and the rangers have been clearing them out the last three days they've been doing collective sweeps, sweeping them all out of here, harassing them illegally during the day. And so now I figure probably why they did it was because they didn't want them around for your dance performance. Not saying that disabled homeless people shouldn't be allowed to access your dance, they should be able to enjoy it. It's open for everyone to be here. But I'm saying the city rangers made sweeps to clear them out. Okay. So they cleared them all out ahead of your dance performance. So we were wondering why they were doing it because they just started the sweeps about three days ago. So now it kind of makes sense why they were, we were all wondering why are they doing these sweeps when they haven't been doing them before. That's uh, not I know it has, no, I know, I know you didn't ask them. I'm not blaming yeah. you. I'm saying it's yeah. the city that did it. Yeah. You had, I know that you want everyone to be, have access to Absolutely. see your dance. And that's the, that's the point of dance is that everyone Absolutely. sees it, yeah. that everyone ex experiences and, and, you know, enjoys it. So I, Absolutely. I mean, that's great. I have your, it's great that you're doing this dance performance and, Actually, I might stay to watch it. What time is it starting at? Starting at 7.30. Oh, wow. So what time is it now? About 5? Oh, it's 7? So that's not long. I might just stay and watch it. Um, is it okay if I ready record some of it? If you what? Video record, video record some of the dance. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. What dance company is this? 
A bunch of different bands. Oh, that's great. Are you uh, uh, part of the um, the world music and the tannery? No, oh, no? Because um, I know Cat Willis, and yeah. I know they have an excellent program there. I thought maybe you were part of that. Um, they're going to be performing here. Tannery, oh, they will? The oh. Tannery Youth are performing Miles Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. Um, this is a festival, um, Motion Pacific, and my dance company, Sick Tome of Performance. I've been doing it for about seven years. And it's, uh-huh. We're doing a year of free performance, uh-huh. and so we thought it would be great. That's great, because actually what I want to do is raise money to give poor kids access right. to dance, because all the access to dance classes and is for rich kids, not for poor kids. So I want to get grants to yep. give access to poor it's kids. It's a great thing. Yeah. It's also good to speak with the um, people who run the studios to see if there's scholarships. Because oh, really? sometimes there's scholarships. Oh, that's a good. I didn't think kids. of that. I talked yeah. to the Arts Council, and they were kind of saying that I could get funding through them, but that's I never... Great. Right, well, I never thought of getting yeah. funny through this. Scott. That's great. You can, you can check, but we only have a half hour. Now, okay, that's cool. So okay, I won't bother you. Name? John Colby. John, I'm sorry. Do you sick. want my car? Sure. Okay, I'll give you my car. I'm an advocate for a human and civil and economic price, and I consider access to dance a human right. I agree. So to me, that's a and human right. This year, we, this is, these will be, we'll have done 25 free performances. Oh, that's great. Year, that's fantastic. It would be great to make a year where everybody had access. That's great. And it's too bad they, they swept all these other people out who would probably Absolutely. enjoy the dance, and it would be really great for them to see it. So anyways, um, let me get you, I, my card is, I have so many cards in here. I actually got just got a card. Um, here's a card right here. That's it. Gorilla Gorilla Advocacy. Fantastic. If you have any problems with the government, I'm the person that basically solved them. Okay, you too. So do I need to move out of this area to give you guys space? Okay. Okay, great. Okay, thanks. So here is one of the cameras that they have. I never noticed the camera for This wasn't here last time I came through, I don't think. Um, um, here's the city council chambers. I want to see if the bathrooms work. No, the door doesn't work. It's all locked, of course. And now the city council chamber is closed. Are you part of the dance troupe? I just want to say, you know, it's something you might want to tell the city to do is when they let you dance to have the bathrooms open. What? We've been fighting for those bathrooms to be open 24-7. Oh, uh-huh. They won't open the bathrooms except during city council meetings. Oh, so you have a dance thing and all your people are watching have no access to a bathroom. We've been fighting for that for like a, a right. year now. Yeah, yeah, that's really frustrating. I know, it's, it's really kind of dumb, but you know. So, you know, we're all on the same side. No, the bathrooms are shut. I was just talking about that. They shut them except for city council meetings. They don't care about dance. They just care about city council meetings. So this is really cool. Let's see the lights. This is going to be a really good dance performance. So this is really cool. This is cool, the lights are here. This is really cool, the lights. And this is really... Excuse me, are you here for the dance performance? Are you dancers or are you here for the dance performance? Okay, I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to... This is really cool, this is awesome. There's gonna be a huge dance. Hi, Kat. Hi, Joel. I'm here actually because all the homeless people have been swept out of here by head of your dance wow. performance. Wow, they put a lot of extra light in here. This is nice. This is actually a great venue for dance. This is perfect. See this courtyard here? This is a perfect venue for dancing. This is perfect for dancing, for dance performances. They should have a dance performance here every week. This is perfect. This courtyard here is just the right size. It's a perfect venue for dance. It's a perfect venue for music, too. They should have music performances here every week. They should have a music performance. This is a great space for, for the commons, for music performance. Hi. 
So all, I think they're calling in all the dancers. They're calling. You know, I, I was just watching this space. This space is perfect for, they should have a dance performance here every week. This is a perfect courtyard for dance for and music. Isn't it great? It's great, it's perfect. It, it's totally underutilized. This is great, this is a great venue. This could be the Santa Cruz City Dance Hall. This is perfect for dancing and it's perfect for music too. I think I'm going to make a suggestion for that. And it's actually very well lighted. There's space for people to sit and to watch. This is perfect for dancing and perfect for music. This is great. They could put chairs here. They could put chairs all along here, all along here, all along here. They could probably fit 100, more than 150 people here. This is perfect. So I'm going to go for now. Um, I'm gonna go for now, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna save the juice for the performance.